Okay, something a little bit different this time. This is the Kuman multifunction meter and screwdriver. Um, it's a little kit, and it's not really a uh, one to solder together because it's already done. Um, but um, it comes with the old traditional acrylic cases, and that's the actual unit itself. And what it's for is for testing components, so resistors, capacitors and the like. Um, you plug them into these slots here, and it should tell you on the screen what the value is. Now, I do use a multimeter, an ordinary multimeter, um, but um, I thought that this would be an interesting alternative um, for those times when uh, you just need to double-check the... Um, the value of a particular component, um, which I have had need to do on uh, quite a few occasions. Um, and uh, yeah, here it is. Um, so there you go, it's got an LCD screen. I'm not sure if it's backlit. I've got a feeling it might be actually, because if you look at, that's the LCD there, but it's got a load of gubbins behind it. So, um, well, whether it's got the driver chip in, built into there or not, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so on the push button there, and like I say, what you do is you put your components in there and then you clamp them down with that little uh, lever or lever if you're in America. And uh, so that's the, uh, the front of the board, and there's the rear, and uh, there's too much to see on there. You've got uh, some tiny resistors and transistors, and there's a chip on there which obviously does anything. We have got, um, is that an 8 megahertz crystal? Something like that. I can't really read that. H8. I don't know what that is. Um, what looks like a couple of diodes, what it all does, I don't know, which is one of the problems that I have. I need to learn more about electronics to actually understand what it is I'm actually doing. Um, but then again, I mainly buy kits which um, come with instructions and tell you what to do. Now, I've this piece of tape on it, I'm just going to take it off carefully because I'm, I'm suspecting that the reason they put the tape on there, oh right, so it's got a protective plastic, or did have, until I just ripped it off. Um, is that movable? Yeah, that flaps about in the wind a bit, does that screen? Um, which is probably why they put the tape in there for uh, uh, transportation, no doubt. And so let's have a quick look at the case that it comes with. Let me get rid of the box as well, we don't really need that. Uh, the case is... Um, very typical of these Chinese kits at any rate. Um, I don't know if these are laser cut or CNC'd or how they make them, but there we go. So clear, clear acrylic plastic covered in paper to protect it. Um, and the usual hardware to uh, put it all together. No instructions um, at all. So, um, I don't know if they're online somewhere or I've just got to sit here and work it out myself. But it uh, should be relatively straightforward. You've got four sides, a top and a bottom. And uh, you've got some spacers and some uh, nuts and screw threaded uh, Phillips screws. So, there we go. That's what the uh, kit is all about. So what I'm going to do is, I don't think you need to see me put the case together. What I shall do is I'll put it all together. And then afterwards, we will um, power it up and see what happens. Right, well, I finished building this um, tester. And um, ugh, to say building, it's really just a case of putting the case together, as you can see here. Um, typical uh, transparent acrylic case. Uh, it was very nice, very solid. Uh, and it, it does the job. Um, you can see the battery is sort of flapping about in the breeze there a bit, but um, it, it's okay. But it, it does look like it, it, we've got some holes here, and I don't know what all these holes are for, but I don't know, it could, 
could have been for a battery holder or something like that. I I don't know, but it certainly didn't come with any other accessories to um, mount the battery in place. But uh, I, I dare say um, it's designed for other things as well. So uh, there we go. Um, and uh, it it's uh, uh, quite neatly uh, goes together. So uh, you do re you can actually buy uh, the unit without a case. Um, it's actually quite a bit more. I think it came to about fifteen pounds in the end w with the case here, and the case was I think just as much as the uh, the unit itself. So, um, but it's quite delicate. Um, certainly with the screen and the backlight um, will uh, break quite easily if it's not protected. So uh, it makes sense to put in a case. Obviously, you could build your own. Um, but there you go. So what does this do? Well, it's designed to um, test components. Um, and it does test all sorts of stuff. In fact, if you go online, there's there's other people who put these together. If you go onto Dave Jones's EEV blog. He's got a, a video on this. And uh, he was well impressed with it, I believe. So um, anyway, just to give you an idea, we've got a resistor here. Um, so if you don't know what the value of, of that resistor is, for example, you can't read the colour codes like I can't. I always have to look them up. Um, you can just pop it in there and um, then just clamp it down. I can't remember what the name of these um, these connectors are, but you can see it just clamps down when you press the lever. So we press the button. Uh, it's testing it. And there you go. It's a 20K uh, resistor. Obviously, there's uh, tolerances there to take into consideration. But, um, yeah, 20K, so that's a resistor. I don't have much in the way of components to test with this thing. Um, what have we got here? This is a, um, a small ceramic cap, 30 on it. I don't know what 30 means. You can tell I know what my stuff is. I haven't got a clue. Right, so let's clamp that one in. Press the button. Testing. And come up, there's a 27 puff cap uh, capacitor. There we go. Now it'll do transistors. Um, it'll do um, uh, diodes. Um, I'm just, oh, actually, that's interesting. I have some transistors here. I didn't realise I had those. Just, just suddenly caught those in the corner of my eye. So let's grab a transistor. Um, I'm not sure which hills it's supposed to go in, but I would think that it needs to go in... Uh, you can see where it says one, two, three, then one, one, one. I would imagine for one, two, three, you probably want uh, those for the transistor. So let's pop that in there and see what it makes of that. There you go, transistor, MPN transistor. Um, voltage, well, 681 millivolts. Um, HFE, I don't know what that means. Uh, but you've got a base collector, emitter, and so the base is in number two, the collector is in position number three, and the emitter is in position number one. And I guess if we twisted it round the other way, then the reverse would be true. Yep. So there we go. Yeah, that, that works fine. Absolutely fine. Um, again, I'm sure the tolerances are something to uh, take into consideration in terms of accuracy but it seems uh, pretty good to me so let's grab let's grab a diode in the shape and form of an led see what it makes of that i'm pretty sure from what i've seen on the net that it will probably call it a, a diode so let's put that in there Testing, it's flashing. Testing it a bit more. And there we go. Oh, two diodes. Two diodes? Ah, now that might be because it's a, a multicoloured diode. Let me uh, test that again because it was flashing there and see if it's got one more than. Let's uh, dim the lights a little bit. And see if it flashes more than red. Red, no. I don't know is the answer on that particular LED. I've got a feeling it is a multicolor LED. Um, let's see. Uh, 
Let's see what else I've got kicking about. Um, not much is the answer to that. Transistors definitely are. Ah, look at this. I have an electrolytic capacitor, which is rated at 47 microfarad. So let's see what it makes of that. In there, clamp it down. Is it clamped down? No. Right, that's a bit better. Let's see what it makes of that. Capacitor. In 49.7 microfarad. That's interesting. This is actually rated at 47 at 16 volts, and it's come up with 49. Now, how important that is in terms of how far out it is, I don't know. I suppose in some applications it could be quite critical, in others it doesn't matter so much. I don't know, but I guess as, you know, a rough test, or just a rough guide of what the component you're looking at is and does, um, it, you know, it's probably good enough. I've got one of these hideous buzzers here. God knows what it'll make of that. It's obviously a piezo thing. I this this may be a waste of time doing this, so it probably comes up with nothing. Oh there you go. Well it's it calls it a diode with capacitor with 15 puff compa capacitance and a forward voltage of 2.56 volts. Hmm. Well I don't think that really actually means anything because it clearly isn't any of those. Or is it? I don't know. Perhaps I'm wrong. I don't understand all these things. There's another there's another capacitor here. What value is this? That's got 10 marked on it. A little ceramic capacitor. Testing. No unknown or damaged part. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. What if I do it? Sometimes these leads can get a bit dirty and a bit sticky, and it may not be reading it too well as a result of that. Let me give it a bit of a clean and see whether it was just that. Um, no, don't like that one at all. Let's try. Might just be me using the device wrong, I don't know. No, doesn't seem to want to read that at all for some reason. Why I know not. Let's stick um let's stick that resistor back in again, just make sure we've got some uh we haven't got a problem with the device. And there we go, 20k resistor. So uh, I don't know why I didn't read that capacitor. No idea. But anyway, you get the idea. So, diodes, LEDs, transistors, resistors, capacitors, it will read the lot. Absolutely excellent. As I say, it's not a huge sum of money, and um, it, uh, it's as good as getting the old multimeter out, and um, one of these things, and uh, probably a little bit easier when you're just looking at particular components, as long as the components are, are free. Uh, when I say free, that they're not sold into a board. If they were sold into a board, then obviously this device is no use whatsoever. And you go back to the probes on the uh, the multimeter. But yeah, I kind I kind of like that. Um, so uh, yeah, nice piece of kit. Uh, oh yeah, there, there is one other thing that um, is worth noting on this device, and uh, you've also got although you've got these test positions. A bit more light onto the subject. You've got these, obviously, the test positions here, but you've also got them down here as well. Um, so if you've got something like a surface mount transistor, um, I guess, now, this is the problem of putting a case on it. It's got a hole in there to, to access it, but I guess what you'd have to do is get the old tweezers out and try and hold it onto those contact points, press the button and keep it held there to... Um, uh, to get it to work, but um, I'm just trying to have a look to see if I've got any surface mount stuff kicking about. And interestingly enough, what's that? That looks like a surface mount capacitor to me. A uh, transistor, rather. I wonder if I can get it to uh, to work. 
this could be a bit of a joke. So I'll place it on there and I imagine I'm going to have to, I can't quite see whether, you're not seeing that are you? There you go, that's the, that's, that's the device I'm trying to measure. Um, I'm not sure this is going to work, but let's just see if I can, it's, it's so tiny. Oh, there you go, this is going to be the problem, isn't it? So, I think that's okay there, actually. So, we'll hold it down, press the button. Now my hand's in the way. There you go, look at that. He's done it. It's read it. PMP transistor. Base glitter em uh, uh, emitter. Again, positions one, two, and three. Um, as per, I'm going to have to move it now. Move that away. Uh, so the positions one, two, and three. Yeah. Oh well, I'm I'm very impressed. So there you go. That's the uh, component tester I got from uh, Banggood, and uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It's nicely made. Um, no problems with that at all. Okay, right. That's it really. Hope you enjoyed it. Got uh, quite a few more kits kicking about at the moment. So, um, I've also got an old kit here that I could never get working, and I'm sort of tempted to desolder it all and, and try again, because this is going to be my early attempts at some um, surface mount, and this thing just didn't work. So, anyway, that's a job for another day. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the vid, and uh, got some more coming, got some more kits, and uh, we'll see what we can do with them. Cheers for now.